when someone has said no to you, or not now, or I need to think about it, this puts many people who are new to the process of of selling or marketing a service or sharing a service in a bit of a dilemma. Hi, it's Lorna Rasmussen, and I'm speaking to you from beautiful British Columbia. What we're talking about now is the, the follow-up. Follow-up is the most important thing that you can do in your business to learn how to do it. And like I said the other week, uh, it's not a, a challenging, it is a challenge in your business, but it's not a difficult thing and there's some real um, very positive things that you can do to prepare yourself to follow up so that you a will follow up you know this the statistics are amazing uh, very few sales are made on the first presentation the average sale is made on the fifth or sixth presentation so that means or contact that means that you have to be following up with people either to get them to look at what you want them to look at or to get them to make a decision and in either case what many of us do is we do not um, think about it in in a way that serves us we start imagining that that person doesn't want to speak with us we imagine that they um, are not interested at all in our business we imagine that they don't like us they think we're stupid or that they think that our product or our service is, is, is useful, useless. You know, that we make up all these things in our own mind, which basically stop us from moving forward in the prospecting process. Now, if that isn't you, fantastic. You can skip this video. But if it is you, and I can tell you, uh, the person I just described is also me. Um, and even though I know these things, it's hard to practice them sometimes. And I'll give you an example. I'm, I'm meant to follow up with somebody who at the end of last month said no, um, was actually within seconds of making the decision when her husband stepped in and said, no, he, he needed to look at this. So now we're at the point where the husband needs to look at something. So I therefore need to follow up with them. And I was beating up on myself and procrastinating and doing everything but the follow-up call that I needed to make with them. Well, in the intervening time, I spoke with his wife, not about this, but about something else that we were involved with and discovered that they were away on a family vacation all of last week with their kids. So they weren't going to be available to look at the material or to follow up. So now um, that's given me a good reason to get back on the phone with her and say, have you had a chance yet? Although I do know they're leaving again <laughs> this weekend for something else. So, you know, the, it's, it's oftentimes when we're making up these stories in our mind about why they're not doing something, in fact, there's a real reason for them not to be doing it. They don't have the time. It's not on the top of their mind. It's not a priority with them. So what you want to be doing in those situations is getting back in touch with them. I'll tell you what exactly what I'm going to do with this person. I'll be back in touch with them. I'll ask them if they've had a chance to look at the information. That's a very important component because if they haven't, then there's no point in moving forward on it. And if they tell me that they haven't had a chance to look at it, I'll ask them when they'll be able to look at it and I'll set an appointment for the follow-up. And that's part and parcel of a process that needs to be in place for you to follow on each and every process, uh, on every follow-up that you're doing. So we're going to talk more specifically, excuse me, more specifically about the follow-up process in the next video.